Oh dear. Ow, my brown cow. Hello there. Whew. Oh man. Um, welcome back. I'm back. But not for long. Yeah, if you're watching this uh, tomorrow on the day this video is going to be posted, then uh, I'm actually going away for seven weeks. Uh, I'm leaving later in the small hours of tonight. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm not going to be posting for a while after this video either. But the reason I'm leaving is actually something I'm really excited about. And that's because I am flying out to Australia to compete in the World Solar Challenge like I did two years ago with Durham University Electric Motorsports. I've been directly involved in building the solar car over a year now and um, yeah, it's time to see that out to a conclusion and that's really what I want to talk about today. Um, before that, there's a few updates I need to make. Update number one. I know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Yep, I turned 22 yesterday and that feels old. Update number two. I have a double bed now. So where I normally film over there is no longer space for my desk. Um, so yeah, the current situation is uh, a random stack of stuff holding the camera. And yeah, I've got a double bed now. So another bedroom upgrade, which I wasn't expecting after being away from home so long. I haven't been home since Easter. <laughs> Update number 12. Okay, yeah, I can't really avoid the elephant in the room any longer and that is my health and where I've been for the last five months. I don't really want to go into too much detail right now, um, partly because I've tried to do that already in a video and uh, yeah, I never really got around to editing that. I didn't really want to. Um, but here's a brief explanation as to what has happened while I've been gone. <sighs> So the last time you saw me, I was revising for my final year exams and I was doing that in the form of live streams uh, in an attempt to get me back into doing work on the regular basis after basically spending an entire term um, not really doing anything. The consequence of that was I was going to do my project in the summer, um, but in the end that didn't really happen as you'll see because that intense period of revision didn't really last very long at all. Um, behind the scenes it was actually an awful lot of work to keep those live streams going and I was encountering a lot of problems if you can remember or if you were there and at one point my laptop completely broke and then it broke again and that just kind of really got me down because I just I really wanted to make the live stream thing work and I really didn't think I would be able to revise without it and in the end it took me so long to fix what was going on uh, that I just really couldn't get back into revision and it got to the end of Easter and I went back to Durham and it was at that point where the panic started to set in and I didn't really know what to do. I kind of just accepted the fact that I was going to fail and then it kind of, you know, in that, like that seed in my head then just grew into something a lot bigger and uh, yeah, my mental health just went down downhill from there. I still went to all my exams. Um, I just, you know, I just failed all of them because I wasn't prepared. After a term of, you know, not really doing anything because of my health, to then jumping into doing too much at once and then failing. It's really been not the best half of the year, um, to say the least. From that point onwards, I just knew that I needed to make something of this year. I didn't want to make it go to waste and I needed to get back to the things which were making me uh, enjoy life. And one of those things at university was the solar car project, um, which is where this video is eventually getting to. This explanation has been a bit long so far. But basically from the start of July, um, when I moved out of my uh, student house, I stay with um, the solar car team, uh, members of the solar car team, so thank you again for having me. And um, I spent the next sort of six weeks flat out on the solar car, trying to get the damn thing built, trying to get it tested. And um, yeah, it was a really long, but really, really intense, fun period of time because it just allowed me to focus on one thing. There wasn't, you know, there weren't exams, there wasn't coursework, there wasn't revision. It was just one thing. I'd go in every day, I do the solar car for as long as it took to get the jobs done for that day. I go home and I get up the next day and do exactly the same thing again. And I'm glad to say the car did ship. And I'm really, really excited because the car actually drives so well. I didn't really do a very good job in 2017 of explaining exactly what happened, partly because it kind of didn't go that well. When we got to Australia, we found out that in a straight line, it doesn't really handle very well and that really restricted the speed that we were able to go at. And so this time, the guys did a really good job of designing a car, steering, suspension, everything, which performs so solidly. And yeah, we've got a really good chance of completing the full 3,000 kilometer distance in the World Solar Challenge Endurance event um, 
this October. I then went to Ireland again for three weeks, which was really, really nice um, just to catch up and sleep, if anything. And um, yeah, spend a bit of time with family and spend a bit of time um, to myself. And yeah, I just wanted to pass my thanks again, Shirley, John, Hannah and Noah for having me again. I don't know whether there will be a big video. Last year, I kind of went with the intention of making a huge video. Um, but I'm very grateful for the footage that I have got and I'm sure there will be something at some point or maybe I'll put some in over the footage of this video. Oh, baby's got some fiesta. They do? They do? <laughs> Hello, I have been born. <laughs> Liam couldn't even breathe. This is the first one. They do! They do! It doesn't seem like it. I'll do it again. Oh, baby's got so fast. They do! Hello! I have been born! So then after Ireland, that brings us into September and I went back to Durham for a week. Did a bit more stuff with the solar car because whilst the car did ship in sort of mid-August uh, and it's currently almost in Australia before we've even left, um, there were some spare parts to make so I tried to get involved in that as much as possible and a couple of weeks ago I made it home. So yeah, that's kind of where I've been. Of course I wish this year had gone differently but where I'm at right now, I'm just 100% focused on Australia and the outcome of what's happening with my degree will be made, you know, that kind of decision will be made after Australia. Um, the current plan is to go back in January, repeat second and third term, and then hopefully graduate with uh, a BEng degree in engineering from Durham University. But yeah, that's all to come later. Yeah. So I mentioned not being able to post much over the next seven weeks. However, I will be very active on Instagram because I'm probably gonna do what I did last time and keep a running story um, of what I'm up to, how we're doing as a team, what the progress is of the car, when we start the race and all that kind of good stuff. Um, the race by the way runs from 13th of October to the 20th of October. If you want to find out more information about the race I will leave a link in the description and that was a really powerful leave then but anyway <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description and also on that website when it comes to it you'll be able to track us throughout the outback. We'll have no communication at all except for a GPS tracker mounted to our car so you'll be able to track our progress. Um, we're definitely not going to win the thing just because we're up against teams with insane budgets and you know they're going to be going at 85 kilometers an hour, we're only going to be doing about 60 to 65 kilometers an hour but if we do complete the event we will be the first team since 2001, the first British team since 2001 to complete the full 3,022 kilometer distance without trailering the car. So that's the ultimate aim but yeah, I'm super excited. If you want to go follow me on there, it's at Liam Bushrod. Um, yeah, shameless plug, sorry, but that's just the way it is. I'm not going to be posting much on YouTube um, at all, unfortunately. And if you want to remind yourself about what happened last time, um, I actually did make a playlist of videos that never really got published. Um, that link is also in the description. Um, all the videos are unlisted, I think. So yeah, they've all got like one view or zero views. So if you did want to see how we got on last time, that's kind of there. But my ambition is to kind of make an Australian uncut video or series of videos for this channel. It won't be like a daily vlog or anything like that. We know how that kind of thing has gone in the past. <clears throat> Japan. Oh, I still really want to make those videos. <laughs> um, but yeah, the plan uh, for this channel is to make an uncut series of videos, basically from me getting there to finishing the event. And then um, I'll also be making a video or two for the Durham University Electric Motorsport YouTube channel, um, which currently has a video of the build process so far from like last year um, all the way up to testing, which wasn't made by me, a lot of the footage was mine, but it wasn't made by me, it was made by Joe, so thank you Joe for doing that. And um, yeah, you can go check that, that out now. I will leave a link in the top right, which is the left-hand side of me, uh, yeah, just, it's somewhere over there. There will of course be updates on the GM social medias as well, the at handle is GM underscore electric. I don't know why I'm saying all this, the information will all be down below. And I've been going for 13 minutes, so I better stop rambling. All I can say for now is I'm really, really sorry. Um, I haven't posted in so long. I just didn't feel comfortable doing so. And the Instagram post uh, I made the other day is something that I've been thinking about for a long time. And yeah, I don't tend to give this up. I've said this multiple times every time I've had to come back with some kind of update or explanation video. But yeah, there are some times where you just don't feel like doing it. And this has been one of those times. But yeah, no, exciting things to come. And if you're watching this the day that the video goes up, then later this evening, I'm off to Australia. So I will see you then. Thank you very much for watching. And here's to a successful trip across Australia.
Oh, I don't know whether to be excited or nervous. Anyway, thanks again, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Oh man, I was gonna do this whole thing with this shirt and putting on the stash and doing a cut, you know, throw the t-shirt on, but I forgot and I'm not filming it again. <laughs>